Hi everyone. As many of you requested, I'm gonna show you the 3D model viewer today that I've created in Framer. Um, I created this viewer because I didn't want to rely on paid uh, platforms like Spline. I also wanted to upload my own um, 3D models that I've created in Blender. Um, and I was searching for about a year or two for a um, 3D model that is directly inter integrated in Framer, but I couldn't find anything. So with the help of the workshop uh, in Framer and with a bit of coding, a bit of ChatGPT, I've created uh, my own. Um, and now I want to share it with you. So let's check it out. Um, this is the 3D viewer and on the right you have the controls. Um, you can upload your own uh, GLB OBJ file. Um, this is something that I have truly wanted because all the other viewers uh, require you to upload something to the web and then get a new URL and then yeah, it's, it's too complicated. I just wanted a simple solution that I can upload something directly into Framer. Uh, you can change the loading uh, animation, the image, you can put your own logo. You can change the HDRI uh, for different lighting. Um, you can change all the camera controls uh, for the object. Let's say 45 and 80 degrees, or let's say 45 and 45. The camera distance is also very important because um, if you want to limit the zoom for the user so that uh, the object doesn't get out of view, you can just let's say minimum is set to one and set it on 10 minimum on nine and this one on 11 so the user just can zoom in and out one meter uh, let's change it back to 50 to one you can also limit the rotation for the object if you want to showcase, uh, let's say, just the front of something. Uh, yes. You can also shift the object with the camera target uh, shifting controls. So let's see if you wanted to have, let's say, it's, it's difficult with this view, but you can figure it out yourself. But the option is here. Disable it. There is also auto rotate. We will use that later because if you use it in the beginning, it uh, the, it messes up the default view. I wouldn't use it in the beginning. Uh, I would adjust the camera, uh, everything, the, the animation. And at the end, if you want uh, the auto rotate, you can enable it, but don't do it in the beginning. Um, this is the interaction prompt for users on the web. If you have a 3D file, it shows that you can move it, that it isn't just an image. Um, the follow cursor is also very interesting. If you want to have something that um, if the, when the user hovers over it, uh, it moves. Very, it looks also very special. Um, uh, the scroll rotation, I, for, I forgot. Um, this is also very interesting. I've seen a lot of uh, websites using some 3D images. Uh, 3D, they look like they are 3D, but they are just uh, PNG files. And now with this tool, you can use uh, truly 3D files and uh, do a scroll animation with it. Like for example, this one. So when you scroll, it rotates. 
you can also set if you want to rotate just in in x or just in y this one just rotates in x let's say we just want to spin it oh no that's the the wrong one not spin it this one is just up and down but i like this more yeah it slowly comes to to view just disable it for the moment this is the zoom that i mentioned um normally i don't like it if the people can zoom in and out because it can mess up the 3d object i just want to give them rotation possibility the uh, possibility to rotate the, the object but not zoom in and out but if you want you can do it like this now you can zoom in and out and with the minimum and maximum zoom um, you can limit the zoom as i told you before um, this is also very interesting if you have uh, a glb file that ha contains animations in it you can uh, play them i don't know why the loop animation is broken at the moment i cannot set i set it to no it it doesn't allow me to not loop the animation so it's always looped um, i think it's it has something to do with the glb file with the export settings um, but this one is also very special in blender let's say you can you can um, name different actions in your animations here this is back i can type in front comes this side or let's say up or down you just ha have to type it correctly as you uh, typed it in uh, blender if you use small d it doesn't work you have to use exactly the same um, font uh, how do you say yeah lettering uh, as you used in blender um the rotation ah yeah if you want to shift your object like this or you have uh, one object uh, multiple times and you want the uh, the one to to shift a bit for a a scroll animation as it is very popular right now you can do it here the visual effects is important if you have let's say a very dark object a black object and it it just looks dark uh, you can bump up the exposure but for this one i leave it there the shadow uh, if you want uh, to have the object hovering uh, in the air um, you can remove the the shadow that it doesn't look that it's on the floor um, you can also change the contrast the hue the temperature let's say you want a, a red ball <laughs> you can do it yeah and this one this is my favorite a guided tool let's delete them from now and let's make this two seconds so you can you can add in uh, different steps and showcase the, um, the object from the back from the front uh, let's say you have a car or a clothing or shoes um, you can add in different steps for example add just this one the autoplay is set to no standard that you see what you are doing if you if you do it on yes it jumps around between different steps and it's very complicated to adjust the different uh, the, the, the right angle uh, let's say we want this to 10 meters 90 let's say 10 
now let's say 45 45 let's say this is the default view and for the in the moment you can you can see anything but you you can show the the overlay here as you see default let's add one more let's say side view you can't uh, you can't see anything if you if you change it that's because it's stuck on the default you have to auto play the default let's say 0 0.1 now it, it goes to side and now you can change the side view after you are finished you have you just have to uh, put it on autoplay and it is finished um, let's say 0 90 or 90 90 it's it's not perfect but it's just for the tutorial and 0 0.1 or 0 0.5 yes 0 0.5 that's the duration of the transition And as you see, the object animates and it shows which one it is. If you want it to have control, uh, or to give the user control, you can hide the overlay, but show the steps. Now you can have control. You can click side default side and you can stop the autoplay and let the user let's say for uh, as i said for clothing or for cars side view default view and you you can also move the ob object as you want this is also very important uh, enable user interaction if you just want to to give them uh, let's say um, these two views and you don't want uh, them to move the object because it does it looks ugly on the other side let's say you can just disable the user interaction and now they just have these two views and they cannot move uh, the object. Let it on yes for now. And as I said, let's say I'm satisfied with it, I'm happy, and but I want to auto rotate, I click on auto rotate, yes. And now the object rotates itself. As soon as it is uh, as it loads, but as I said, this messes up uh, the view. So if you disable it and enable co camera controls, it, let's say you have this view, but you preview it. Oh no, this one is uh, this one works if you just use the normal uh, slider. But as soon as you, what is ah, as soon as you want to to do the guided tour, it messes up. Let's say I want this one. Yes, yes. This one should stop. Put the perfect 90 and 90. If let's compare it here with the live view, you see it it's messed up because of the because of the auto rotate. I wouldn't use it if you have planned to use the play guided tour. So I think that was it. Uh, I hope you like it. I hope uh, you can do something great with it. Um, I, there will be a, a link 
for the remix. Um, unfortunately, I cannot give it for free. I have to charge a little bit for it, but it's much cheaper than a monthly payment on Spline. I think it will be around four dollars one time payment. Um, and send me maybe in the comments your uh, links how you used it yeah thank you